Hello there. Just been to the gym, just finished my workout. It's behind those trees over there. Nice good uh, session down the gym. Surrounded by trees. Unfortunately, none of them fruit trees. None of them fruit bushes. All right, we need to start getting out and planting a lot more fruit trees and bushes. All right, all they've done is they've just planted greenery. So you think, oh, it's all green. But there's absolutely no foraging material here whatsoever. And who does this? Well, the Holy Roman Empire or the Babylonian Empire. That's who do it. Look at that there. Can you actually tell me what that says? Now, you might be looking at it and you might think that that says Crow Hall Road. But look at it and think about it. Two things you've got to look at. Firstly, that's in a box. If it's in a box, it means it doesn't actually exist there. And then also look at the actual letters. The letters are all capitalised. Therefore, it can't be English because English can't write like that. So that there, right, that is an acronym. But it can't be an acronym because what would that stand for? So it can only be, only be, right, Glossa. Okay. Now all the road signs, if you look at them, even the ones that haven't got full capitals are actually all inside boxes, you know? So just even direction ones and stuff that you, you know, you don't even actually think about at all. All right? I don't know, I'm not gonna go over there, I might get killed. Did I go over there? All right, on the actual, showing you where the, the, the tines are, the tines, the towns are, okay, are still in a box, even if it's not like, you know, a full square or anything. See the line all the way on the outside of the, the actual writing, okay, on there, all right, and if you look at it, like with it all being capitalized as well at the beginning, right, you don't write in capitals like North Nelson, and <laughs> Estate, Crossland Park, still capitalized at the beginning and in a box. Okay, what I mean by in a box, look, so you've actually got like the, the black line that goes all the way around it. Glossa. None of the signs actually read anything. See, look again, all the bushes, look at all that greenery. All that could there, instead of it being like just green stuff, could all be fruit. Fruit trees, fruit bushes, and then all there would all be free food for everybody. Look at it all, tons and tons of it. Yeah, they did do this on purpose. Now, if you look at this one as well, this is very, uh, like, uh, faded out by the weather. But look, okay, so you could, even if it wasn't, like, all uh, uh, worn away, you could say that that says on there, detached office building to let. But it doesn't say anything like that at all, does it? Because that cannot be English. So you're writing there, full capitalised, glossa, dog Latin, all right, from the Holy Roman Empire or the Babylonian Empire. Okay, none of it makes sense really because you cannot read that. What that means is it's not actually on the paper. Even when you come down to uh, have a look at your own registration numbers on your cars. This isn't mine, this is just a higher one, so it'll be going back in a couple of days, so it doesn't matter. Just hired out by a, a company. But look, why is it DY70? All right, why? They're all capital letters. So that is again dog Latin, okay? And if you look at it, the way that it's actually created and placed on there, it's in a box, right? So it doesn't belong to you no matter what. That's why it's always gonna to belong to the DVLA because they've created that box there and it's not even on the paper. It's not on, on the, the car or the van. It cannot be, okay? All right, look at that ASDA van, all capitalized. The actual words ASDA, everything is dog latin glossa 
all from the Holy Roman or the Babylonian Empire, which is just merged into one. We're still ruled by it. It's the same group of scumbags. See, I'm gonna look at a bin. Look, I'm a bin. Right, so you've got like full capitals on there, right, Northumberland. Okay, so it doesn't actually really mean anything. So I'm gonna have a quick walk in here, I'm gonna turn the camera around and walk in here. Cooling off anyway, so it's nice just being at the gym. <clears throat> so cool off a little bit of a walk. So This is right opposite the beach. I suppose it's as nice a place as any to rest your weary bones once you've uh, passed on. But uh, I'm just going to show you something in here. I don't want to <laughs> like, you know, have some crazy person getting angry and upset because I'm uh, filming, you know, they're, uh, someone who's just died. So I'm going to find a really old one. Right, so like, uh, let you see, you know, like, um, what they've actually done, you know, okay, all right, oh, I don't know do that one, somebody lost in the war, peaceful though, <laughs> the, yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of them here. Now, um, so we're in the month of August, that flew by, didn't it? So um, I've got no plans on doing anything in August, I'm, uh, like, as in going away, doing tours, traveling. I've got lots of other work to do, trust creations, etc, etc. But uh, I am going down to, uh, I think it's called King's, La King's Langley. I was seeing Hemel Hempstead, it's close to Hemel Hempstead. King's Landley on the 3rd of September, apparently it's just a few minutes away from the uh, M25 um, down that way. So if uh, anybody wants to pop along, um, the organisers have uh, done, nearly finished their, uh, nearly finished their, uh, Uh, websites and everything so uh, so I'm gonna I'll be sharing that so we're gonna put it up and obviously I've just got to do a little video which I'll do a proper video for them um, yeah so uh, And, and I'll put that up for them, but it's, it's it, I'm sure it's Kings Langley. It's going to be on the 3rd of uh, September, Saturday, um, all day from 10 in the morning till 6. It's going to be a long day. Yeah. So I haven't been in here for a long time. Oof. Right. Let's go and find an old one that uh, we can show you. Um, some bigger ones as well, it's easier to see. Yeah, and after King's Langley, I'm going to be going down to um, Plymouth, all the way down to Plymouth. So I'm actually going down uh, the day before I'm going to Totnes in Devon, where I'm going to be visiting some friends of mine, Dan and Tomas. And um, we're going to do an interview with uh, Tomas, like I said before, um, you know, which... Um, was about like spirituality you know because they, at the end of the day we're in a massive spiritual world it's not just about like oh i don't want to pay me poll tax council tax whatever it's called nowadays you know come on it's a, a lot more than that and uh 
you know, so we, we have to really be thinking about like how we actually like, like bring up our spirituality, which is going to raise up our our vibration and help raise up the vibration of others, which is what it's all about, and help up lift up the vibration of the planet and get on the right timeline. Okay, so like, look at all of the uh, fear porn and all of the scaremongering that's going on right now. Okay, look at the uh, USA, they're coming up for midterm elections. So what they're doing is, right, they're trying to change the, uh, the, um, the elections to lock everybody down again. So they've got a massive, you know, chimpanzee frenzy, right? So that everybody then, yeah, has to uh, do mail-in mail in voting so that you can't uh, go and attend. So it's easier for fraud. So what they're looking for is massive fraud again. Okay, so uh, you know, paying attention to what's going on. So you got like, uh, what's his name, the mass murderer from uh, from the Who, right? Well, he's uh, he's uh, like you know declared it an emergency or something because of the chimpanzees. And then, like you know, you've got all of the uh, the blue states under war, Sleepy Joe, and uh, they're actually like joining in now and and saying it's like an emergency. Again, ready to do mail-in voting to screw up the, uh, the elections for the fraud. They know that if it was real, they would be losing left, right and center and everything. <laughs> so, you know, the, uh, there's lots of these here that I'm looking at that, uh, you know, would be uh, fine to read, like uh, with the, to show you what I want to show you. Just don't want to. Uh... Like show ones that's like too recent, you know. Let's find some eighteen hundreds things. Um, oh, let me have a look. Can't read the read that the liar. It's not even that old. That one's fallen down. And They lay them down if they get, uh, it's not vandalism or anything, but if they get, you know, when you've got these huge big marble plinths, you've got to be careful with them because uh, the, uh, the, the, they could fall. So what they do is they lay them down on the ground, you know, so they get these huge big, like, you know, massive giant uh, uh, tombstones and everything. That, they're just not... Uh, too safe, like once they've been there for a, over a hundred years, some of them. Unfortunately, they have to put them down on the ground carefully. They don't smash them or anything like that, you know. Should have went to the other cemetery that's uh, along by uh, by uh, the um, the big evil hall over there. Um, all right. Let's see if you can. I don't want to stand on it either, though. There's a lot of killed in action around here, and I don't really want to show them. You know, I just feel a bit bad. Um, but all we're talking about here is the. Uh, is uh, the actual writing. You know, the writing itself, um, which is all, it's, it's actually, like, well, all capitals, every, every single letter is a capital, you know, every single letter, but all of it, not just sort of uh, the name, because we all know the name is in there, but it's not, it's actually 2013 actually uh, every single letter is all in four capitals you know um, a lot of them that are old enough you can't really see it you know uh-huh some of them are really falling down 
and there's some of uh, some privates, some of the soldiers. So anyway, I'm going to walk back. I don't want to show anybody, but believe you me, these are all full capitals. Every single one of them, right? Actually, even my own brother over there. Full capitals, every single letter, every single word, which means that none of it is actually written. N none of it is on there, right? So when they're actually born, right? And I mean born, not birthed. Then, uh, right, you, they get obviously their, 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 their normal name, their given name, all right? So I'm saying for me, it would be like Peter, right? But then after that, then they get created with the uh, capitalized name after, all right? So that's, that's, that's not me. So you have your name, but then you get given your corporation name, the capitalised version, which is done by the registration, like the birth uh, registration, you know. So, uh, you, you know, when you actually, you are born, then they turn it into a birth by doing a birth certificate. Exactly the same thing what happens to a ship, it gets a birth certificate, okay, which is another word for it is a ship's manifest. Why do you need a manifest? Because it's for tax purposes. They know how to tax the ship going into harbour with all of the goods. That's what it's for. So all you've done is you've actually created a birth certificate so that they know how to tax you because you've come into the uh, harbour. All right, that's all it's for. So it's all full capitals. So you spend your entire existence, okay, with uh, that fact of you being a, a corporation an actual dead entity and then eventually when you end up in here you are actually well you you, you know your soul is in your soul is in, indestructible it just goes on and on it's energy you know you know that don't ever be scared of death because it's nothing it's just moving from through a door but when they deposit your flesh suit here all right they just fully capitalize it right now the thing is with these capital letters, what you have to do is, I was shocked by this, like, um, and I had to go and check it out. Um, now, there's a guy called Romney Stewart from Australia, and uh, he does some uh, good work about like uh, the Justinian deception, which is all Roman, coming from the Roman Empire and everything. You know, it's, there's no coincidence that we all talk similar things going all the way back in history. I know not everybody likes to you know, go back and find out where it's all from and it's all those just like, no, tell me how to not pay me council tax or not pay me water bill. It's a lot more to it than that, you know. We need to fight this system, okay, on every front. Not just, uh, you know, not paying. A lot of, you know, if that's what you've got to do, then get on with it. Especially now where they're just trying to literally cripple everyone, you know. Um, so... Yeah, this all capitalized. So they've actually tricked you. Now, the thing is, like all these words here, none of them mean anything, right? And they're all in, in boxes as well, okay? You're actually in a box. The way that they actually do the, the headstones, they're all in, in boxes. So none of the words, even if they were real words, um, are actually on there, so you can't see them. This is, this is crazy, but true. Now, if you have a look at the signs as well, the signposts, which I had showed you a couple before, let's see if we can actually uh, see a couple more. And it's the road signs, some of them for like safety signs, um, you know, about speed and stuff like that. So you want to think about it. When they're actually saying that you were speeding, it's a why, and it's a well, you know, it was in a, a 30 mile an hour zone, so we'll prove it. Prove it was in a 30 mile an hour zone. So how do you prove it? Well, there was signposts there. Well, in reality, those signposts, right, are in boxes. 
And if they're in boxes, then you can't actually see them and you can't read them. Now, I'm gonna go down here, because this one, I think is quite interesting. Just seeing all the level of craziness that we're dealing with. Because these, again, they're, they're safety signs, right? So I'm not saying that you shouldn't, like, uh, travel safely. I like to travel safely. I don't like to drive. Uh, but when you look at them and when you think about it and then you realise none of them actually mean anything. So if you've got there, there's a couple of... Uh, numbers in these but they're all in boxes so what does it actually mean so if you're going to try to find you for doing like you know 45 in a 40 zone or 45 in a 30 zone that was written in a box so it doesn't actually mean anything right which is why when you actually get these fines coming over that they're all they're written in boxes because in reality there's nothing on the paper so you can't complain about fraud right because nothing's actually on there all they're trying to get you to do is agree to be that actual legal fiction, which is an all capitals creation. It's your estate. It is not you. So, if we have a look at the safety sign, right, let's turn this around. And you're coming up with a, right? And it's coming up to an island on the, in the middle of the sea lane. Right, so it wants you to do where it's like, you know, what does that say? In reality, it doesn't actually say anything. Because you can't write in English in full capitals. You can't do it. Okay? So it makes no sense. Not not really. So the uh going to go down so when everything is in a box it literally means that there is nothing on the uh the paper or on the sign because what else is it because it's on a sign right not just because it's on a sign but all of it is sign language right either dog latin glossa or american sign language whichever one you want to actually call it okay you've heard those terms before All right, but that's what it all is. So you can't actually read any of it. I get killed on the road. It's not a motorway, but do encourage me. Okay, so here's a good one. Oh, here's a few good ones. Look at this. Oh, let's turn this. All right. Right, now. There isn't actually like full capitals on that one, but look, it's in a box. It's surrounded by the lion, it's in a box. So like, what does it mean? You can't read it because it's not actually on there. Okay, so here's even better ones. <laughs> this is a good one. Now that there, not only is it in a box, but then it's all, it's all dog Latin. So what does it say? It doesn't actually mean anything. Okay, another one, no entry. Okay, and on here. Now, look, look up on here. Now, you see, this is actually giving you all of these things penalties, failure to comply with the conditions of use and regulations within the relevant traffic regulations order may result in a penalty charge notice being issued. But it's in a box. Okay, it's in a box. All of that is in a box. You can't really see it, it's not there. Look at that. Okay, what does it say? In reality, you can't read it because it's not English. Yeah, it's in a box as well. So none of it actually makes any sense. Same thing again, look, you know, there we go. And even when we look at stuff like what you might think is like, well, like instructions. So there, it's like there's a bike or a picture of a bike, but it's in a box, look. It's in a box, so you cannot read that, okay? Now look at that, you see? What does that say? That is a fantastic example, all right? Full capitalized and in a box. And 
just to make it even worse, I've made it red. Okay, full capitalized and red. Uh, how's that? <laughs> so I make it red so you can really not see it. Okay, so like, uh, it's just really strange. You know, you've, you've got to uh, pay attention to what's going on around because like all of it is a lie. Now, when I was watching that, uh, I don't know what you call it, a video like with um, Romney Stewart, and uh, he was like talking about like uh, yeah, the, uh, the the capitalization of everything, which is you know dog Latin or glosser or whatever as you want to call it. But also, right? And he was pointing out, and I had just, like never even thought about it. It's a cartoon, right? It's a joke, and it comes from Walt Disney uh, and a woman called Sarah Whitty, I think. I think he said. Sarah Whitty, I think, but definitely with uh, Walt Disney. And when Walt Disney was making these little comics, you know, the cartoon comics, Donald Duck and Donald, can't say it, Donald Duck, all right, and Mickey Mouse. So all these signs are Mickey Mouse. Now, if you look at the uh, any of these cartoons, I'm going to go and check all of them now, these, these uh, comic books and everything. They're supposedly the ones he showed are all written in capitals. All the letters are capital, so you can't read it, not really. You know, it's definitely not English. It might resemble English, but when it's capitalized like that, okay, which is what they do with your name, Capitus Maximus, full capitals on every single letter, it means nothing. Okay, so like you've heard other people saying, well, it's an acronym. You know, it must stand for something like bug off, buy one, get one free. And that is correct. You know, however, in reality, it's like you, your, your name is not an acronym when they spell it out with all capitals. And even if they do the surname, what they call a surname, that isn't even your name. I went louder there because I'm the, my, by the motorway again cross over here without getting splattered everywhere or I'll end up in this well I'm not going to the cemetery. I'm gonna get planted under a tree <laughs> and my soul will be flying away. It's free and safe. Yeah but that, that's so like really what you're doing is like when you're using them capital letters it's a joke. So they're making you a joke. It's all a joke. Everything. So, that's crazy, absolutely crazy. Anyway, I've got a, uh, I'm gonna, I've got a meeting this afternoon with uh, a guy that's gonna be helping me about um, the uh, cryptocurrency um, and stuff like that. So, the um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a series of videos as well on that, just to help people. If anyone's interested, if you're not, doesn't matter. You don't have to listen to that part, do you? All right, we want to try and do something for everyone. And also, I want to do a little bit more information about the PMA. All right, on my PMA, but also someone else's PMA that they have been um, creating a, a different cur currency, which is like silver dollars or something along those lines so i've watched a couple of videos of this guy um you know so i'm gonna do some investigation on that and then this is something that you can invest in you need to start checking more on the private trusts and your pmas you've got to okay now i get messages and phone calls and even see statements on on the groups and everybody like you know like the um Oh, what am I going to do? I've got this happening, that happening. The, the clamp, the car, the bailiffs are here. Like you know, uh, I haven't paid this and I haven't paid that. Get yourself armoured up before you try and go into battle. Come on, right? So, like, you cannot expect to go into uh, a huge war, right? Think about it in in the terms of like um, the knights of the Round Table, let's say. All right, which I don't know if they were supposed to be good or bad or, I don't, or indifferent. But anyway, right? so you're in that war, all right, and you're going to go charging in to fight. You need to put your armor on or at least have a shield, okay, and your weapons 
So, you know, if you're going to go charging into the old medieval battlefield and you haven't got uh, your, your shield with you, you, you're not going to even reach the, the edge of the fighting. You're going to be dead before you get there. Well, it's just the same thing. All right, let's get yourself armoured up. Let's get yourself protected before you start trying to fight the world. Okay? These people, are, and it's like, you know, they've put themselves into a state and then they're getting panicky. You know, because they're getting hassle now and, and they haven't paid anything whatsoever. But they've never protected a single thing. Make sure that you get yourself protected before you start fighting. Look, when we used to go into the, into the boxing ring, they, they still allowed us to put a groin guard on, a gum shield and some boxing gloves. You know what I mean? So, like, uh, it, it, you've got to protect yourself, you know. Um, that, that's the whole point. So get these private trusts sorted out. However you do it, I don't care who you do it with, all right? It doesn't have to be with us, it can be with somebody else, it can be anybody. But make sure it's a proper one though, all right? No, no, don't, like talking about Walt Disney and all of these, right? Like, let's not go talking to Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck, okay? And make sure, they see there's a bus gone past there. Everything in capital letters, Northumberland County Council van, capital letters, all right? Everything is uh, capitalized. Um, because none of it means anything because it's all a joke and it's a joke on us if we fall for it okay if we fall for their tricks and their slimy bullshittery all right anyway I've shown you a few little things there so remember those dates I'm gonna be putting uh, I'm gonna do a video later for um, the guys for the uh, uh, Kings Langley on Saturday the 3rd of September uh, it's a few minutes off the M25 I am told um, that's on the Saturday from 10 in the morning till about 6 phew that's going to be a long one and then um, in Plymouth down in Plymouth the um, which is Saturday the 17th of September alright uh, down in the Barbican I think it is um, it's a very nice place down there so you know um, I'll be putting the information up there. You can actually get the tickets online, definitely for that one. I know that. Um, but obviously with all these venues, you know, we're not going into football stadiums. They're small venues, so tickets are limited, you know. So if you want a ticket, make sure whichever one you're going to, um, get it sorted as soon as, because it's first come, first served, and that's just all we can do for you. All right, so anyone, anyway, take care, everyone. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.